Hi guys, this video is going to quickly show you how you can take this chalk lettering I've done on some black card, or it was really black, I've just scanned it in, and place it over a photo in Photoshop. So we've scanned it in, uh, 600 dpi, so it's really good quality. We want to get those textures of the chalk into uh, the image. So first of all, what we want to do is uh, adjust the levels. Um, uh, so you can add an adjustment layer or um, go to um, layer, new adjustment layer and levels or uh, command L on a Mac and bring up the darks and lights. So there's um, a really good contrast between the two. Okay that. Then what we want to do is inverse that selection. So command I um, and then we want to take away the white so we can place just the black over the image and then color it. So double click on the uh, uh, layer to make it editable. Double click it again. This brings up the uh, blending options layer style. I want to go to the bottom of this and at the bottom there's a slider and we can get rid of all the white in the image. So, um, But we don't want to bring the whole slider up. We want to just uh, split this in half. So if you can hold down the control key, I mean the alt key, and slide that right up, it will take all the white out of uh, our image, press OK. So what we want to do now is to um, just add a new layer, new layer above that, select both of them, uh, merge layers, and it will get rid of the information of that layer. I'll select that area of the type, go to where our image is and paste in our um, type. Uh, before we reduce it down, you just want to right click on um, layer and and uh, convert that layer to a smart object so we can reduce it down if we want to enlarge it, we can do that. And we want to place it into a folder. And we're going to want this to be white, so we are going to want to add an, a solid color adjustment layer. And then holding down the Alt key and going in between the two layers, or the group and the layer, uh, it will bring up a little or down arrow, click on that, and it will clip that solid color field to the group. If you're in CS6 and above, uh, let's reduce that down to a size that's a bit more manageable. And then I want to actually make the smaller, so let's bring up the lasso. I was just going to separate all these elements. So Command J, make a copy of that. I'm going to make a copy of each of the words. hide the uh, smart object layer that we got. Oh, managed to miss off the daily. And it's just a resize some of these just so they fit nicely together. Obviously, you can clean up some of the, the white speckles that show through as well. But there we have. Um, and if we zoom in, we can see we've got quite a lot of the uh, texture going on there. Obviously, I would need to clean up those bits as well. But that's how you quickly do it. Place it over photo. Hope that's been useful, guys. Uh, speak to you in the next video.